yeah, just yeah. learned about it so last rare, week. So then we're going to make sure that that one's medium rare. It's so here's be extra my question. Firm. Is it okay if pork is a little bit pink? Or do we have to go all white? I wouldn't recommend it because... He's mortified. Yeah. Yeah. We're all white. Pork's not a very clean meat to start with, so you really want to make sure it's cooked. It's oh. a little scary when you do things under. I know, but it's so dry so fast. <laughs> yeah, it's right. very, definitely not steak, so you shouldn't be medium anything. So yeah. are you going to push that with your finger? You poke it with the tongs. Oh, it's going to be hot, so we don't want to... Oh, that doesn't look right. Now, how long before I flip? We're going to do about four minutes on each side. Okay, so, we so we're going to let this go. To, to we'll let this go. Thing. So then let's, let's let's move to assembly here. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, All right. Stephanie. The do station. I slice? Yeah, absolutely. How do we slice? However you want to. Uh, uh, to do like pre-sliced <laughs> already, so you Watch can do it your fingers. You, want. you don't have to slice more than, <laughs> so you could do it the way she ha it's already sliced? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, and you could just put that in there. This I don't is, like uh, to chew too much, so okay. I'm going to slice. <laughs> I'm lazy. We've got romaine for our lettuce wraps at okay. Tsunami. Add a little bit of nutrition All right, to which even. order do I go here? That looks like However kimchi. However you want. Mm -hmm. And kimchi, you can add to it if you want. Uh, Store-bought kimchi works so great. So meat it's, first? Yep, I do meat first. Okay. A little bit of coleslaw. Romaine's good because it makes a little vessel for right, the... Yeah. You've got a perfect little taco. Yes, kimchi? Is this <laughs> yes. Oh, you? yes, yes. Okay, yes, kimchi. Mm -hmm. I am making the birthday boy Yay. a pork oh, lettuce wrap. <laughs> my hands drank are my clubbed cake. and yes. clean, Thank so you, you dig in with Joey's happy birthday special mm. entree. Of course, from Sam Ray from Tsunami. Amazing sushi, Thank cooked how is food it? Yeah. as well. We did Thumbs good. up. We did mm -hmm. good. The like flavor it? smells absolutely wonderful. So head to Tsunami, enjoy all the wonderful some Asian flavors there. Of course, we've enjoyed cocktails from Table Creekside as well. Cake. Oh, I lost Joey. I'm getting Lulu. Oh, Lulu's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> She's still mortified. I know. You shouldn't have Cake a dog in the Sith kitchen. Cake from Bakehouse and Saul's New York City Deli. Lots of great treats for the birthday. Happy Thanks birthday. Thanks for being here. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. Take some time. Enjoy the Sun Coast view. Hello, Lulu. Mm -hmm. Happy A Sarasota County man sentenced for murdering his landlord. Why the investigation into the murder took more than a decade. Manatee County paramedics create new ways to better help mental health patients. And boaters on the Sun Coast make sure they're ready for another round of possibly severe storms. Your Sun Coast News starts now. Live from our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is ABC 7 News at 5. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening. I'm Healy Wilgus. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for being with us. We'll get to our top stories in just a moment. But first, the latest on the tropics. We are monitoring a system that could dump a lot of rain on the Sun Coast. ABC 7's Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan is joining us now with the latest. Thanks, Healy. Yes, uh, the system is still a tropical depression. Just got back from the National Hurricane Center, the reconnaissance aircraft, indicating that the winds are still at 35 miles an hour. It has not gained much strength, and the pressure really hasn't lowered much today. And that's because of the interaction with Q. Cuba. Right now, it's located about 80 miles or so just to the north of the western tip of Cuba. You can see all the deep convection mainly south of that, and that's a result of still some shear that is taking place, and that shear does not allow storms to enhance or develop uh, that quickly. But that's going to move away from that in time. You can see it right now rotating and spinning, so we definitely have rotation at the surface. It's surface It is moving off to the northwest, and eventually it will turn more northerly. Here are the latest coordinates uh, with the system. Tropic pressure number 9 uh, moving to the west-northwest at 5. The pressure really hasn't dropped much at 1,007 millibars. The forecast path. Some good news coming out on this front is that the line or the cone of uncertainty the southern end has been shifting northward with every successive run. So last night uh, it was all the way down to Charlotte County and now it's all the way up just at the border of Manatee and Hillsborough County. So that's a good sign. But still we are in for a tremendous amount of rainfall. It looks like we could see anywhere up to uh, seven inches uh, for much of the area and some isolated areas up to 10. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you very much. With this storm possibly uh, impacting the west coast of Florida later this week, boaters are being warned to be ready. Boats have capsized or caused a lot of damage during some recent weather events. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us live now from Bayfront Park in Sarasota with more on the preparations. Rick. Yeah, Haley and Scott, it doesn't take much for one of the boats back there to cause some big problems. That's why officials are urging boaters to be extra prepared. Life and death, it's very important. Michael Castiglione says he does everything necessary to stay out of harm's way on the water, especially when there's a threat of a big storm. We actually go down and dive on our anchors to make sure that uh, everything is secure there. 
uh, we lock the boat down, we uh, uh, dog all the windows down and, and uh, the hatches and, and make sure everything is sealed. Right now, the Bradenton Beach Marine Unit are going around to each of these boats on the Intracoastal, urging them to secure their anchor. It's their way of taking a proactive approach ahead of any storm. It's a message Marine officers are hoping boaters hear loud and clear. Trying to make sure everybody's going to have their anchor line secured ahead of this storm so no boats are breaking loose, okay? In addition to having the anchor secured, Marine Officer McGill with the Bradenton Beach Police Department says there are other important steps boaters can take to remain safe during a huge weather event. Make sure, obviously, their, their personal flotation devices to make sure they've got their lines are secure, make sure if the line even looks like it's going to be frayed, get new lines. Boaters on the Intracoastal and Bradenton Beach have reason to be extra careful and cautious. Back in June, several boats sunk and some of the boats caused damage to the Bridge Street Pier and the day dock when Tropical Storm Colin slammed into the Sun Coast. It's something the city's mayor and experienced boater Bill Sharon doesn't want to have to go through again. We have to be uh, uh, aware of the storms and uh, take uh, take action and especially too we haven't had a major storm for 10 years so a lot of a lot of people have, uh, are, uh, are a little bit complacent. And Marine officers say they will continue to crack down on unsafe boaters, even ticketing them when they have to. Reporting live from Sarasota Bay, I'm Rick Adams. Back to you. All right, thank you, Rick. And with the uh, potential for that stormy weather this week, epidemiologists and emergency managers are reminding people to get rid of standing water after it rains. Scientists say getting rid of the potential mosquito breeding grounds will help prevent the spread of the Zika virus. All mosquitoes lay eggs in standing water, but those that cause Zika are especially fond of man-made containers. Go outside physically and see if you have any containers. They could be anything like a saucer under a flower pot, anything around the awning around your house. It could be something more um, notable, like a used tire that you just forgot to recycle. There have been more than 500 travel-related Zika infections in Florida and another 43 that were locally contracted. Of those, 70 involve pregnant women. Now to a major murder case in Sarasota County. A homeless man will spend the rest of his life in prison for killing his landlord. During a hearing today, John Melquist received the maximum possible sentence. In July, he was found guilty of second-degree murder after a week-long trial. Investigators say Melquist killed Annalise Schweikert on April 9, 2003. Her body was never found. Melquist claimed that he last saw the victim when he took her to the airport. But investigators found the victim's blood through her house and signs of a cleanup. Plus, Melquist's fingerprints were found on a mop. Melquist represented himself during the trial and the sentencing. He says he plans to appeal.